excited? Yeah. Show me how excited you are. Yeah! This much? Whoa. Hey there, Ruthie here, and welcome back to my channel. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know just how much my daughter loves to specifically pour things or play with water or just really get creative, and I'm sure most toddlers are the same. And today, Ellie and I are sharing some of our favorite science experiments. I love doing these type of experiments because they just utilize things that I already have around the house, but also give me a chance to talk Ellie through something. Most of the activities today really had to do with colors, and so we focused all around the colors on the rainbow and how many different colors there are. We focused on primary colors and secondary colors and how you make the two, as well as some fun reactions. Now we can't start without all the right equipment. Thank goodness Ellie got this science kit from Learning Resources and it, it came in so handy. I'm sure Ellie will continue to play with it and making lots of new experiments. And let's just jump right into our first experiment, our magic milk experiment. For this one, you'll just need some milk, some dish soap, Q-tips, and some food coloring. I like to use a pie dish for this one. I think it works the best. Fill that dish with some milk and a few drops of various food coloring. And then dip your Q-tip in dish soap and watch the magic happen right before your eyes. As you can see, once you drop in your Q-tip, the food coloring kind of disperses and goes away. It basically wants to stay as far away as possible from your Q-tip. Your kid will be blown away by this experiment and really feel like a true magician. This next one is a real classic in our house and today we're adding a little spin to it. If you haven't made a volcano with your kid, it's so simple. For today, I'm using three different cups where I filled some baking soda in each one and then we're using a few drops of food coloring that we mixed with water and for this one we wanted to focus specifically on secondary colors. So for the first cup we mixed red and yellow the next one we mixed blue and yellow and then our last one we mixed blue and red and that way we can make purple yellow and green next i added a little bit of dish soap and mixed it all up just until we can see the new colors and then give your child a squeeze bottle full of vinegar and let them see what happens when they mix vinegar and baking soda. As you can see, we created beautiful bubbles and the more vinegar or baking soda that you add, the more it will explode. We recently got this really cool book called Kitchen Science for Toddlers. And today we're gonna try some of these activities along with our whole science experiment video. So our first one that we've decided to make today is, we're gonna create a rainbow. And this one is really great. It just needs a few items. We're gonna need a bowl, some Fruit Loops, a picture of a rainbow, a pipe cleaner. Before we can start our edible rainbow, we have to sort out our Fruit Loops. So I gave Ellie this container where I put one of each color and then had her sort the rest of them so that we can have all the colors pre-sorted. Once she was done with that, I gave her a pipe cleaner and then had her place three of each color. Again, we were focusing on the different colors and counting along the way. This was a great activity for her to focus on her motor skills, her sorting skills, her counting skills, you'll name it, she worked on it. And at the end, we got to enjoy a yummy treat. Is your toddler a picky eater and one that doesn't like to eat salad? Well, this next one might just get them to change their mind. In this experiment, we're going to see if we can actually get our lettuce to change color. First, we'll go ahead and make some food coloring mixture, again, using water and some food coloring. I would definitely encourage you to add more food coloring than you think. I feel like for mine, I definitely didn't add enough, and so the lettuce didn't change as much color as we wanted. Anyway, once you have your mixture, go ahead and pour it into three separate cups, and then you'll just want to drop your lettuce and have it hang out there for about 30 minutes. And here's how it turned out. We cut this up and enjoyed a beautiful rainbow salad. Now that we had some salad, I think we can enjoy a little bit of dessert. Can we solve the M&M rainbow mystery? For this one, you'll just need a plate, 
put some M&Ms down and some water. This is probably one of Ellie's favorite because she also gets to enjoy a little bit of candy along the way. But all you want to do is just have your child or yourself fill some water and watch as the color from the M&M fades away. Was your toddler able to figure out why the color escaped? Let me know in the comments below what they think is the reason for this mystery. Ellie, was that fun? Yeah. Don't forget. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Bye. See you next time.